Hi, mathematicians. For this last example we're going to look at, mathematicians, for this example, we're going to look at what happens when the center of dilation is inside the figure. So I've got it marked over here. It's this little green dot. It's kind of tricky to see, but that's point one, negative three. And you'll notice this time my grid lines are actually skipping by two. So keep that in mind. I know this is 10 out here, so each of the lines will be 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10. So be careful when you're counting your spots on this one. So I went ahead and wrote down my coordinates for A, B, and C. Now what I'm going to do is start with point A, and I'm going to subtract my coordinates for my center of dilation. I have to be really careful here. For this first one, I'm taking away 1, but then the second for my Y coordinate, I'm taking away a negative 3. So I'm actually, and this is weird, I'm adding three, remember, because I'm subtracting a negative. So here when I do that, what, uh, two minus one is one, negative four plus three is negative one. Now my scale factor is two, so I'm going to multiply each of them by my scale factor of two, and I end up with two, negative two. I have to add back my um, center dilation coordinates, so I'm adding one, and then here I'm actually going to subtract three. So 2 plus 1 is 3, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So point A prime is at 3, negative 5. I'm going to go ahead and finish these two, and we'll check in in just a second. Okay, mathematicians, so I finished up my work for points B and C, and I found B prime and C prime. I went ahead and plotted them on my grid, and you'll notice um, when you go to do this that it kind of runs into my label for point C, and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my points. So I've got my dilated figure. And what you'll notice is it's an enlargement, right? Because I was hoping with the dilation of scale factor 2, I know it's going to enlarge my figure. And it's using this point inside my figure. So it means everything's going to stay kind of close to where it was. You'll notice that clearly B kind of stretches outside. But it's like taking that and enlarging it from somewhere in the middle of the figure. So it's not going to shift it off. It's going to keep it there, but none of the points on the figure actually stay the same this time. 